There's only a handful of menstrual discs on the market at this time, but they seem to be getting more and more popular. Today I'm going to share my experience with the newest disc on the market, which is the Nixit. The Nixit menstrual disc is made of silicone and is only available in one size and one color, which is kind of like more of a salmon pink than a bright pink. If you're interested in hearing my experience with this disc, stay tuned. Please remember that one cup does not fit all. We are all different and so are cups. This is my experience with this particular cup, but your experience might be completely different. Like all of my videos, this is not a paid review. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It did take me a little bit of time to figure out how to insert this cup without the rim folding over onto itself. The problem that I was having with this cup was that every time I tried to insert it and press the rim to uh, push it behind my pubic bone, the rim would just push in like this or kind of fold over onto itself. I also had a problem with my pointer finger nail uh, pinching me when I was trying to press the rim into place. So first of all, you would fold the cup just in half, kind of like a taco, and then you want to aim it down and back towards your tailbone and not straight up. So I would insert my cup like this, and I would release it, and then I would take my pointer finger and middle finger and place it on each side of the rim and then push it in all the way. This kind of uh, created more stability so that it wouldn't fold over one way or another. After the cup or the disc was inserted completely, I would take a single finger and kind of place my nail underneath the rim and my nail was now protected from scraping um, my insides. With that, I could push the cup all the way into place and up and around my pubic bone. Once I figured out how to prevent the rim from folding over on itself and also where to place my nail, I didn't have any more problems with inserting the cup um, in that aspect or placing it uh, behind my pubic bone. I did have a little bit of problem with kind of a drag. I don't know how else, how else to explain that, but the silicone on this cup is kind of like frosted, I guess. Uh, it has this, not sandpaper, but a little not grittiness. I can't think of a word to use, but um, it just kind of didn't slide in like some other silicones would. So I found that using uh, water-based personal lubricant really did help. I, I also found it easier to apply it to myself and then wash my hands and then I handled my cup. If I put it on my cup, it was really slippery and I didn't have a good hold on it. That might work better for regular menstrual cups as well. When my period was heavier, it was easier to get it inserted because I had wetness from my blood, um, but water really didn't seem to make it slide easier for me, so I did have to have um, some personal lubricant handy. Wearing it was comfortable. I didn't have any problems with it. It felt, um, well, I didn't feel it at all, but it felt like it fit well. There are some discs that are firmer, although they're the same size. They just didn't feel like they fit me well. And this one stayed in place. Actually, this one probably stayed in place better than any of the other menstrual discs that I have, which is, I believe, all of them that you can purchase at this time. So I didn't have any... Uh, feeling like if I was gonna cough, laugh, sneeze, bear down in any way that it was going to pop out of place. And I think that has to do with this double rim. You might have noticed that the Ziggy cup from the Intamina company also has this double rim feature and it's supposed to help keep the cup in place. And although I experienced that with the Nixit, I didn't experience that with the Ziggy cup. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to rewind a little bit. I always had a pretty hard time with the Ziggy Cup. It is soft, but the Nixit is even softer. Um, and I haven't applied all of those things that I figured out inserting the, the disc the way that I did with the Ziggy. So I'm gonna have to go back and try it with that um, disc. So I really can't say that I will continue to have problems with the Ziggy, I'll have to try it again. The double rim seemed to keep the cup in place. In fact, the double rim helped it to keep in place so well that I did have a little bit of problems removing it. So like I mentioned, I did have a little bit of problems removing the Ziggy cup. If I was dry, it just didn't slide out as easy. And it's the same that I felt with that kind of dragging feeling. The only thing that I can really compare it to is like when you have a dry tampon and you try to remove it and it kind of has that scratchy, maybe burning or sharp pain. The drag probably didn't help, and then having the double rim made it, a, I know it's not supposed to create a suction, but it felt kind of like the double rim created a suction while I was removing it. Um, I don't know if that's what's happening, but that's what I felt. If I wasn't wet enough, I needed just that little bit of lube to get the cup to remove without any kind of pain. So my overall experience was pretty good. I did have things to figure out, but when I did, I was able to wear it pretty uh, comfortably. I have never personally felt comfortable wearing these uh, menstrual discs all day and I'm gonna chalk that up to my years of not having that great of an experience uh, on a heavy period with menstrual discs. So every time, and I know I mentioned this, but every time that I would like cough, sneeze, even sit down or get up from sitting down, the cup would come out from behind my pubic bone and it would break that seal that it had. Not a suction seal, but just that it was, you know, completely sealed. If it dislodges from behind my pubic bone, I would have this gush of blood out the front of the cup. Because of those experiences, I was just never comfortable with wearing a menstrual disc all day. But because they are specifically designed to be used while you have penetrative sex, I like to wear them at night. And then in the morning, I'll remove it and swap out to another menstrual cup. And, and I keep saying menstrual cup and then menstrual disc, I'm very sorry menstrual disc, menstrual cup. And by the way, this is the new salt soft version since I had it on screen. If you have a very sensitive bladder, urethra, or bowel, this one might work well for you. Menstrual discs can also be a good option if you have a tip tilted, retroflexed, or retroverted cervix, not just because your cervix is a little bit on the left or the right. All of us have a cervix that kind of favors one side or another. But if you're diagnosed by a doctor to have one of those types of cervix or uterus, menstrual discs might be easier for you to position and to wear. I know that some of you have a hard time targeting your cervix because it's in a different position than normal or it's lower or even higher. It's just you know, just problematic to place a regular cup, then check into menstrual discs. Although the Nixit only has one size, the Luma Unique has three sizes and one of those might be a right fit for you. Anyhow, that's all I have for now about the Nixit menstrual disc. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I have been behind on uh, replying, but I do try to answer everyone that leaves a comment. So I will get to you even if I might be delayed and I apologize right now for that. Also leave me a comment down below if you picked up the Nixit menstrual disc. How's it working out for you? Is it nice and comfortable? Is it too soft? Are you able to use it all day? Let me know your experience. 
until I see you next time, take care.